Hey, it's a Humble Collector here, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at this World War I Victory Medal I got, these five combat clasps. So you can see it's got quite a bit of uh, patina and wear on it. And what's really interesting about this, one of the reasons I bought it, even in the condition it's in, is that this was most likely worn by a member of the 28th Infantry Division, which of course is Pennsylvania National Guard, the Keystone Division, uh, which is what I try to collect because, you know, they're a local unit. Uh, but yeah, we have campaign class for Champagne Marn, the Ein Marn, the Oi Ein, I probably butchered that, Muse Argon, and then the defensive sector. Then we got uh, Victory there holding a sword and a shield. Then on the back of the medal, uh, the Great War for Civilization, France, Italy, Serbia, Japan. Montenegro, Russia, Greece, Great Britain, Belgium, Brazil, Portugal, Romania, China. But yeah, a little bit about the Victory Medal. Um, it was awarded to those you know, serving overseas between April 6, 1917 and November 11, 1918. So pretty much the entire length of U.S. involvement in the war. Um, or it could be awarded to members of the AEF who served in the European-Russian Front from November 12th, 1918 to August of 1919, August 5th, I believe, according to my notes. And then also those who served in AEF Siberia from November 23rd, 1918 to April 1st, 1920. Now, each of these combat classes basically denotes that you were active in that combat zone during a certain period. Um, so the Champagne Marne is for those who were in the combat zone between July 15th, 1918 and July 18th, 1918. The Ein Marne is for those who were in the combat zone between July 18th, and 1918 and August 6th, 1918. Uh, the Oi Ein was awarded to those in the combat zone from August 18th to 1918 to November 11th, 1918. Muse Argon was for those who were there from September 26th, 1918 to November 11th, 1918. And the defensive sector was basically for any battles that did not have their own uh, official combat clasp. So, yeah, based on the research I did, the only possible unit that had this combination of combat clasps was actually the 28th, which is pretty interesting. Uh, they were one of the more decorated units during the war. Uh, the metal itself, like I said, it's very worn. Like, the, uh, the pin here is about ready to come off. You can see all of that um, corrosion all over the metal. So this one has definitely uh, seen some use. I'm sure that this was worn for countless 4th of July and Veterans Day parades over the years by uh, whoever it was who had this originally. Unfortunately, I don't have a name to go with the medal. Um, what you do have happen with a lot of these World War I victory medals, um, a lot of times people will get the clasps and like reattach them to like make a more interesting metal, but I don't think that's what happened here just because of all the corrosion and the wear. Like this is falling apart just holding up the weight of all this. So when I'm done recording this, I'm gonna get it um, get it a, a collection number and then I'm gonna throw it in one of my uh, shadow boxes to avoid any further damage. But yeah, as you can see, it's pretty pretty well worn. But yeah, overall I'm pretty happy with it. I got a pretty decent deal because of the condition. And it's definitely a very interesting metal. And I know that right now we're kind of in a pandemic. A lot of people are at home, don't really have a whole lot to do. I'm going to try to keep on a fairly consistent upload level, upload schedule because of that. Um, my college, we're, we're all back home now. It's my last semester, so that kind of sucks. But i um, still doing online classes, but definitely have a lot more free time than I used to. So I've been doing a lot of scanning in of documents and photos, doing a lot of archival work, and still looking at the, the military auctions. So hopefully... You know, as long as the mail is getting delivered, I'll be able to get some, some more stuff in here to keep you guys entertained. Um, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you could leave a comment down below, I'd love hearing from you guys. Uh, thank you all for watching. Happy collecting. And I will see you all again soon.